But I personally am not against development, but I'm concerned about the scale of the development. The peninsula is now becoming a place where either the very rich or the very poor live. That's what it's turning into. People want to develop here because people want to live here. There's money to be made. Unfortunately, what that means is that those of us who live here are going to see a change in the quality of our life. Portland skyline is going to change dramatically. It won't be the Portland that we remember. It won't be Longfellow's City by the Sea. It's going to begin to look like Miami or Houston or other cities that feel that that's how they want to develop their property and that's the aura that they want to present. In essence, Model Cities was designed to take what was perceived as deteriorating neighborhoods and make them more modern, make them more viable and so forth. And that was just the, the mindset of the times. Unfortunately, what it didn't necessarily always realize was that you were ripping up communities, you were ripping up the fabric of cities, you were destroying people's livelihoods and so forth in this quest to make things more modern. For both the Spring Street and the Franklin Arterial, lots of buildings were demolished. The Jewish, Italian, African-American families had lived in that neighborhood for many years. A, a whole area of, of those homes was removed. There were literally thousands of residences that were torn down during that era of urban renewal. Instead of a vibrant neighborhood with great architecture, houses and businesses and families, it's a sewer for traffic and that's a real tragedy. We are in um, a very good economic cycle right now and some people think we're close to a peak of it. I'm all about economic growth. It's really important that we have good jobs in the city, that people want to come here, that they can support their families. So how do we preserve the middle class? How do we make sure that the folks who built our city don't get pushed out of our city? Are we displacing people who've always lived or worked on the peninsula? Those are perfectly legitimate questions to ask. That does not mean you should say, oh no, absolutely, we're not going to develop, we're not going to change, we're going to stay exactly the same. If that were the case, we wouldn't have the new life that's been brought into the community by some of the new buildings. That's good. Every generation should add its mark, its stamp on the community. The lessons that we're learning today are fundamentally, I think, the same as the lessons the generation before us learned and has taught me, and that is to protect and preserve what it is that's great while embracing the change that you need to grow. The people of this city have a very good collective sense of where they want to go and what will be best to preserve what's great.